Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Joe and Slayer Hordes of Hell. I hope I pronounced all that right. Anyways, they opened up the test, the very, very early test to about 100 people. I have gotten access to that. So we're going to check this out. This is a roguelike a arena ARPG style little Death Must Die influence here. Looks like we only have access to this guy from what I've seen. The only thing I messed around in right now is like changing the audio so that it's not super loud. Um, looks like these are potential characters with like some type of archer rogue here. We got a little uh, little assassin girl maybe. And then uh, obviously the enchantress from Suicide Squad. And then our classic like Diablo 2 style barbarian. Looks like he has abilities over here. Rage, chance to trigger, attack speed. Uh, one thing I'll say about this video, this again, this is super early on. This is going to be my first time playing. Oh, looks like they plan on four uh, locations for, you know, early access or whatnot. Uh, there's no early access date for this even. They do want to get a demo out soon based on the Discord. Uh, if you see stuff you like or don't like, please leave feedback in the... Uh, in the comments because there's a good chance devs will see this and they need feedback right now as this is early. We're starting the basic difficulty. Let's see how this goes. This one has looked good. The Steam page looks incredible. Um, as far as like a death must Okay, graphically it is looking nice. Uh, what is Q? Uh, Q is my weapon skill. E is my talismans, talisman skill. Space is dash. Next objectives. Okay, we have objectives. Uh, the dash feels nice. I think E is my berserk. Looks like we have to actually pick up XP. It's going with that system. It's fine. Do I have to hold down attack? I think I do. A little bit of lag there. Oh, are we doing a are we doing the Hades thing here? All right, let's go with Thor. God skill automatic cast summons lightning sentinel which strikes nearby enemies lightning Nova. So in manual and auto cast, I want to try the automatic cast thing. This automatic chance. Wait, each attack has a chance to strike. Ooh, I like that, too. This is active but also automatic. And this triggers on level up, deal 100 damage. All right, these are interesting. We get three and three dice. This is probably for starting the game, you know, for like demo purposes. Check out Sentinel. Okay. Oh, and then Berserker has his own stuff. Interesting. Axe throw, cutting edge. There's a lot here. A quick roundhouse swing. Automatic cast. Is this my... Wait, no, it says new. I was say, is this my basic attack or no? Increase the damage of each attack. Violent outburst. I'm going to take this one. I do not have to hold down a button to attack. It's doing it automatically. Uh, that thing does damage. Okay, we could go to Freya here. I guess we could check to see. Skill damage... Divine Wave, God Skill. This has a cooldown. Auric Charm, chance to stun enemies upon taking a hit. No, I don't want to stun enemies after I've taken damage. That seems like not where I want to be. I'm being honest. All right, we're so far. First impressions are good. Like, I think this is going in the right direction as something I'd be interested in playing a lot of. As someone who um, has um, several hundred hours in Death Must Die, this is very much along those veins. For sure. See what's in here. Thor. Thor me up, please. Mjolnir. Automatic cast. God seal. Now, is this my limit of skills here? The bottom, that's a little, a little worrisome. Lightning cross strikes enemies, 14 damage. Several lightning strikes the ground. Automatic cast, Thor's hammer hits enemies and returns back. Shock, I'm gonna take Thunderstorm. 
No, I'm gonna take Mjolnir. I'm gonna take some damage. Wait, is is Mjolnir just like Mjolnir is like an AOE, it's like whips around. All right, we gotta complete that quest. Let's go get our objective. One of six. Six. We have six quests to complete, I guess, maybe before the 15 minute mark. 15 minute runs are something I'm interested in, I will say. Uh, as a big fan of not 30 minute runs, I'd be down for 15 minute runs. Give me that gold. X objective in 40 seconds. Let's go over to this chest. Uh, 50 XP, three gold. How much is 50 XP? Not, not a lot, I would say. Not a lot. Lesson learned. Wait, is that an elite over there? Is that what's... See this here? That's me. I think there's an elite in that pile. We take Berserker, we can take... Freya, double cast. Chance to cast a spell twice on cooldown. Ooh, ooh I, I I do like doing that, but also increase the damage of all heroes' class skills. Wait. Class skill is not a god skill. Correct. Uh, oh, I should banish this. We don't want it. Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. Banishing lets you see another skill? That's kind of crazy. I like that a lot. I'm going to take the double cast. Wait, what is R? What? Why did it have an R there? Yeah, there's definitely an elite there. So I don't know how I feel about... Well, I guess we don't know yet. I was going to say I don't know how I feel about limited... Uh, Oh, who's this guy? What? 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 Are you? Is this a? Is this a loot goblin? Except he's a loot imp. I gotta. I gotta get him. Auto attack always. Yeah. He is a loot goblin. All right. I wonder if I can do anything with the gold in the demo. Also, our HP regen seems pretty nice right now. All right. Are all the. Okay, I was gonna say, are all the missions stand in circle? Because that would obviously be something you'd wanna work on. Again, very early game, super, super early. Do not take this as like final product or even early access at that matter. This is like alpha coverage, I would say. But um, so far, <laughs> so far so good. All skills deal 15% more damage. Increase max health by 100. That's really good. The Goat Feast. I like the names. Explosive Nature. I do love me some lightning bolts on basic, basic attacks. Let's do that. I think I've built a very weak character, though. Now, who knows? The balance could be bad. Oh, that, that dagger doesn't look good. That guy looks terrifying. The damn... Witch King of Agrimar is after us. That's exactly what he looked like in the Lord of the Rings Online. Like, uh... I think it had box... I think it was box art. God, that's been a long time. I think it was box art for, uh... Like, the first expansion or whatever. Or maybe it was a patch. I don't know. It's been many years. I think... I think we are what you would call, uh, fucked. <laughs> I think I think that's where I'm at right now. That's okay. Uh, let's keep taking Thor. Get 100 max health, which is cool. So only has three levels I'm seeing. That... That's a little concerning. I guess as a point of feedback. Smart attack, always attack. Hmm. 
And there's three auto attack types, which is cool. I don't know how I'm supposed to ever win this. Our, our damage is not keeping up. Like, the things I've chosen don't work together. We do heal pretty well. Now, I think this game is supposed to have loot, but I'm not sure. Okay, we died. That was a cool death little animation there. I like that. Um, What do we have? Damage, skills, damage, DPS. Uh, It looks like, you know, it's hard to see. Level 1, 3.9k. Cutting Edge was good. That was our basic. Divine Wave was okay. Yolnir less good i mean i guess dps is fairly low okay let's go to the main menu let's see if we can actually unlock anything if not we'll just try other stuff there are new upgrades available in the temple okay cool cool we have 20 gold so five gold we can get attack speed we can get collection range we can get damage reduction revive that costs 300 that's a lot slay chance the orb bestows the ability to kill his enemies with a single, unearthly powerful blow onto his most faithful. The goat. The power of the goat. That's pretty good. All damage by 5. Max health by 30. ER. Attack damage. Oh, these are class passives. Oh, okay. Oh, and these are god passive. Works for everyone. Works for everyone. Works for... Okay. So, I'm going to take... 1 HP per second, and I'm going to take 5% uh, damage. I don't think Weapon Shop was even a thing. I guess we have to get a little bit further. Toss, Manual Cast, throws 8 axes in different directions. Right. Okay. Let's uh, run it back. Try different things. We did not get very far, but that's okay. Part of it is learning what is good and what is not. I gotta say, for a first run, the impressions were pretty good, even though we got uh, raffle stomped. All right, so I could just spam those on cooldown. Probably need to level up faster. Let's go with Thor. I guess there's only the two gods right now. Lightning strike, automatic cast, short cooldown, decent damage, big area. Let's get the Braziers. Yeah. Uh, feels maybe a little bit better. I like the way the meta progresses. You just get a bunch of gold from doing quests. Let's keep going with Thor. Sentinel, nah, you seemed bad. I'm gonna banish it. Uh, Lightning Nova is not something I want. And several Lightning Strikes around. Okay, let's see what that. I'm a big, I'm a big fan. Big fan of Lightning. Big fan of Lightning Elemental stuff. In, in most games, Lightning Mage... Um, lightning enchanted sword type characters. Love it. Love to see it. Uh, let's keep taking Thor. Maximum health up is funny. Um, upon taking a hit, there's a chance to strike multiple nearby enemies with a lightning bolt. I just don't like the idea reroll lets you take a whole nother character increases weapons attack range wait a second that might be better <laughs> wait let's let's work on our let's work on our berserker stuff maybe that's the solution stop messing around with these silly gods and do things on our own or don't give me the choice that's fine Explosive nature. No, I hit the wrong button. I meant to click on explosive nature. Barrel through. 
You dash, deals damage, and throws away enemies standing in the way. Deals 15 damage. Isn't that a lot? Um, so what I will say is this is giving me some pretty heavy death must die vibes. Obviously the art's a lot different. I do wonder if there's any AI stuff going on here, which I hope not. I didn't think about it before we started. Um, some of the portraits have me a little questionable, but I guess if it there is, I'll find that out. Uh, I Again, I hope not. If the game would be really good, though, it wouldn't stop me from playing. But at the same time, it would be like a little disappointing. But indie games do indie game things. But overall, we could have a good competition. Wait a second. Oh, oh it's a single magnet. Temporary. Or I'll just get three. I'll just get three gold coins. That's like, give me that meta progression. I like, I like the meta progression system right now. I'm generally not a fan of small increases like it seems to have. However, however, because it seems like you can get most of it fairly easily. And you're getting it just by playing the game. Plus, it gives you a reason to hunt down these these guys. I think that's kind of neat. Now. Again, I after going back, I don't think there was any sort of inventory system. So if there's not loot, then that's definitely a, a I don't want to say a problem, but it just means it's a different. So it's, it's a bit off. Death must die. Maybe, maybe a little more. Soulstone survivors, but without all the problems I have with that game, bleed damage. Wait, this is what we have right now. Just give me this. Just upgrade this food. Floor chicken. Oh man, this game has floor chicken. Straight out of Vampire Survivors. Yeah, the influence is strong there. It's definitely... <laughs> it's definitely... Got that inspiration going on. I really, really... Really, and I can't stress this enough, I really like on level up that you get to pick between like your god slash your class um, on what skills you want to go into. Like this screen, I wish. Kind of wish Death Must Die had this, and I kind of wish uh, 80s had something like this too. Uh, I think this is fantastic. Personally, increased chance for crit and its damage. 10% crit. Okay. Well, that has to be good. All right, so we have this elite guys here. I would not be surprised if the game's a bit overtuned at the start. But sometimes, you know, like the first time you played Vampire Survivors, you just kind of die at the beginning, right? But I don't know if anybody truly on their first... I mean, you can't beat it on your first run, but like, did anyone last 30 minutes on their first run? I don't think so. Maybe you could do it after like knowing the mechanics of the game or watching someone play for a lot while, but you can't go into Vampire Survivors blind and win, I don't think. And get to 30 minutes. It just it doesn't seem possible, so following you know if they're following that pattern then you're meant to probably die a bit who knows if there's weapon evolutions or anything or spell evolutions or anything like that 
if spells do only level up to three, then that's um, certainly interesting. Like, kill this treasure goblin. I realize it's an imp, but to me, it's a treasure goblin. Dash, dash, please, dash. Nine. Um, I'll take Thor. Lightning strike me. It's gonna back up. It's gonna back up. It's gonna. It's gonna kill this dude here. Oh, he's got a chest. Oh. Small box, ten gold. Uh, heals five percent HP. I'm gonna take the apple juice, honestly. Some insane healing. There is floor chicken on the ground, so. Not to mention, we have these quests going on that are just like not getting completed. Minor elixir of haste. If I just took it. Feels like enemies start doing more damage the further you get into the run, too. Can't help but notice that. All right, let's spawn the other one. Uh oh. It is fairly hectic. Berserker, what do you have? Attack range up, movement speed up, crit chance up. Ooh, hoo -hoo. yeah, yeah, going synergizing with the other crit chance. That seems like something I want to be doing. OK, OK, guy, I get it. Well, this is certainly an improvement on the first run. See how the the performance of the game holds up as more things pop up on the screen, too. That's also rather important. Uh, the horn. Well, that's certainly not what it's supposed to be, huh? <laughs> not sure what that did, but it definitely um, didn't have the text right. Oh. Choose a skill type. Class skill. So we get a subclass? That's sick. Doubled in rage, attack damage, cooldown down, region by three, and healing power by 50%. Is healing power like overall heal? Troll Scion. I'm just gonna take Battlemaster. Um, you can, in fact, look at all of your stuff, which is awesome. Cannot hover over this. Healing power, life steal, cast armor, region. Okay. I mean, fundamentally, this seems like it has everything. For a game in this genre. Outside of perhaps the loot. So what? Wait, what made us go to the subclass? Because we're level 11 now. So it wasn't. I would have thought level 10, but it wasn't level 10. Oh, there's another elite guy. Let's go berserker for sure. Attack range, attack damage. Assault. Yeah. You do be assaulting. The skills look good. The game looks really good.
Yeah, it's really one of the better... One of the better first impressions I've had of anything in this genre. You know, we're gonna be eating good towards the end of the year. This, uh, Guncraft are the two that stand out that are new. Not to mention all the other games getting updates, right? But, like... I'm, uh, certainly gonna be wishlisting this one. Even though it was already on my wish list. Uh, you, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Sometimes you'll play these things and you'll be like, oh, that was kind of trash, right? Not the case here. Uh, Gambitian. A light, a slash of, a slash of light that increases a number of range of damage. Okay, golden disc. I think the golden disc. It oscillates. Damn, Banshees lost so much damage. All right. Um, 50 XP is almost nothing. All damage by 30% for 20 seconds is okay. Those, hmm. I do wonder about the balance of the chests. Because if I'm being honest, I think... If this was like the release of the game, I would just always take meta progression and I would never take anything else. New objective, Curse of Winter. Survive the Curse of Winter. Oh, good. Okay. So, whatever was before wasn't the worst. Now I've just got to survive the Curse of Winter. Oh, gross. Uh, my movement speed has been slowed heavily. It looks sort of bloodlust. Looks sort of haste, 45 seconds. One soul stone? Maybe it's Mephesto's. How has someone not made a soul stone gotcha game? Haha, <laughs> you are Blizzard. You got Diablo soul stone, SSR. Now you just need seven more to fill out his astrology sign. So that you can get his full story and max out his power. Level up. Uh, Berserker me, please. Assault up again. Cooldown lower, damage up, range higher. Pretty good. Chance to trigger rage when taking damage. That is good. Chance to trigger rage when casting a skill. Ooh. Ooh. That is good, right? Because rage is 10% movement speed, 20% damage, and 3 HP per second. That's effectively like I don't know that's just like an insane amount of stats perform the ritual we survive the curse of winter ah did I just dash towards my mouse even though I was facing the other direction I'm facing this way I'm not sure how that works. Kill enemies near pylons. You can do that. So it seems like the way it's set up is that you have to um, stand on it to trigger the pylons, and then you actually do the thing. Blood drain replenishes health upon crit. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like something I'm interested in. His Q feels bad. I'll say that. The Q that throws the axes in eight directions. Not a fan. They need to be thicker or something. They'll have a little more coverage. For it to be a 30 second skill. Doesn't feel great to me. Let me sacrifice all these enemies here. Sacrifice them all. Summon the Bone Jotun. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to be slaying, because that's the name of the game. Okay. Uh, attack and movement speed. So we can kill this guy real quick. Or he can kill us. One of the two.
I wonder what happens if that timer runs out. Do we lose? I hope they think there's a heal here too. Uh, yep. Give me that apple juice. Nice. Let's get in here. Gonna walk on over to the little icon that looks like what it says it should be. I'm sure it's not gonna be some terrible giant monster. Definitely is. We have four choices now? What happened there? Invulnerability during dash. That seems good. I'm sticking salt a little up. I need more damage, I think. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he's got 8,000 life. Okay. Um. My health? Oh, he made an arena. There was definitely some healing over there. It's on the ground. Uh, movement speed might be nice. This guy is on the top of me. I'm not sure if it's me, but the hitbox seems a little off. But let me know in the comments about, like, this attack. Like, there I clearly dodged, but the time before I think I should have gotten hit and I definitely didn't. I guess it really depends on when the attack actually triggers. Oh, what what is this? What are these spirits? Boss has entered phase two, obviously. Okay. We do love boss mechanics in these games, so. He over jumped. Interesting. Okay, yeah, once he, if he starts stepping on you, you just die. Good to know. So I need to be fleeing. Hopefully I can trigger rage off of the little guys to get more HP per second. That seems to be like the best strategy here. Okay, well now there's not so little guys for me to trigger rage off of. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, we're dead. Oh, it said dead, but. So we got caught by the freeze at the end. That's why I couldn't move. So let's look at our DPS. Lightning strike one and two. It's kind of separated, which is funny. But we can see that lightning strike underperformed thunderstorm, which is good to know. Cutting and it's good to know that like what levels they are. Cutting edge. Um, it's our standard attack. Assault underperformed all of them, and Golden Disc level 1 went crazy. It was better than Lightning Strike 2. 103,000 total damage, 0 resource bonus, 36 gold, 1 soul stone earned, difficulty raider. Alright, let's go to the main menu. Buy new weapons for your hero via the blacksmith. Not available. There's three weapons available at the blacksmith. There is a toss, there is a roar, and there is a charge. Uh, this is 100% double cast. That sounds really good. All right, so what else do we have here? And then there's, oh, those already have like stats. Oh no, no, those placeholder stuff. All right, temple wise. Bonus resources as after a successful raid, sure, but we'd have to win first. Attack damage by 7%. No, this gets expensive. Damage reduction by 3. Rage duration by 200% is really good. Attack speed by 5% seems very strong. They've like your two basic ones here. It looks like you probably just want to like put points into it. I'm going to unlock this. And I'm going to unlock uh this and i'm just gonna put one into all of these i think and then i probably don't have enough for anything else right yeah that's about it 
Okay, and then I think that's gonna be it for this video. And then what I'll do tomorrow is I'll play one more run since there isn't a lot of content in this. This is the early, very early work. Work in progress doesn't re represent the look of the final anything. Look at the 0 0.0.0.7. It's like barely alpha. And I will, um, tomorrow I'll try and spend more time with the Freya tree and see what's going on there since the discus seemed really good. But anyways, yeah, this is a uh, Jotun Slayer Hordes of Hell. Um, it's on Steam right now. It's I mean, you can wishlist it on Steam. It's pretty awesome. There'll be a link in the description to where you could uh, wishlist it. I am uh, pretty impressed, got to say. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Jeff out. Have a good day.